What it do, what it do. I'm back again, your boy Mike. Some more commentary for your ass, nigga. Um, this is going out to my nigga from France. I don't want to butcher your name. You made a couple of suggestions, and one of them was Tupac. Me Against the World versus All Eyes on Me. Battle of the LPs, part whatever the fuck. I forget. I'm going to have to look back on my videos and name this part, whatever. <laughs> Because I know I did a, quite a few of them, but I love doing this. I think it's fun. Uh, So, yeah, man. Two of my favorite Tupac albums. My top two Pac albums. Definitely. Um, love them both. Die Hard fan. And I did a Tupac ranking, so maybe this is kind of uh, pointless. <laughs> maybe. Because of my ranking, you know what my favorite one is. But I'll do it anyway. Fuck it. Just to, you, you know, do it. Just to, just to do it. You know? Um, shout out to you. You're a good dude. Shout out to you. You want it just done, so I'll do it. You know what I mean? Um, Me Against the World, Tupac's album. Um, third album. Not counting Thug Life. Thug Life's like a compilation group album. Uh, this is third record. Came out in 1995. As y'all know, what I do is I whatever album came out first, I talk about, give my likes or dislikes about an album, which is dislikes is probably never gonna happen because I only compare classics. Um, but there might be a dislike here and there. You never know. Albums ain't completely perfect sometimes, but um, yeah. So that's what I do. You know, then I go to the next album and you know so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, Make It the World came out in 1995. Pac was battling that fucking that rape case, and he had to go to jail for that dumb shit. Did almost a year in that motherfucker. Um, you know, couldn't celebrate the success of this fucking wonderful album. Uh, unfortunately, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, man, I remember the first day I got this album. Funny story, yo. This is a funny-ass story. A lot of niggas will be embarrassed to talk about this. I Maybe I said this before, because I did... How many Pac videos? I did like two, three Pac videos. I maybe said this in my discography rank and I don't remember, but this is a true funny story. And I'll I'll talk about it. It's embarrassing to some if this happened to them, but I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm a no-nonsense nigga. I give two fucks. So, Me Against the World came out and I wanted that album so bad because I heard it prior. My nigga in school had it. This is 1995. I'm, I'm fucking 10 years old. Right? And my uncle takes me to the record store. Known as Record Town back then. Now it's known as FYE. But FYE around here is shut the fuck down. FYE probably in other cities and states is not. But for me, it's no longer here. You know what I mean? In two of my cities, it's not here in Fall River, Massachusetts. And it's not in Swansea, Mass anymore. I don't know if it's, it's in Dartmouth, Mass. I know y'all niggas don't know what the fuck I'm talking about that's not from Massachusetts, but so be it. Anywho, fucking, this is a funny story. I I remember walking to go to the mall. Because around the time when I was in the projects, the, the my current mall, my local mall, was walking distance. This is 1995. This is like spring 95, somewhere in there. I'm walking, and I'm I'm like, I start to walk mad fast. And I was walking so fast that my leg just stumbled over and I fell almost in the middle of the fucking street. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. Almost in the middle of the street. I was just rushing to get there because I wanted the cassette so bad that I fell. So when I think about me against the world, I think about that. I didn't get hurt or nothing. I, I got up laughing, you know what I mean, my uncle. But just a little tidbit right there. It's pretty funny, you know. But yeah, uh... <laughs> Be Against the World is just a phenomenal fucking album. I think there's no weak points to this album at all. I'm not going to lie, when I was a kid, there's one song I was kind of like, uh, on. And that is Getaway, you know, and a story about the abusive woman and he's there to save her and shit. It's kind of like, uh, been, well, not kind of like, it's been talked about to be like that's Left Eye. You know, Pac dating Left Eye. Pac wants, because, you know, Left Eye's nigga used to whoop her ass and shit, whatever the fuck, but that's believed to be Left Eye about Left Eye or whatever. Who knows? Take a sip of water. But yeah, man. Fucking 
straight off the gate, you know, If I Die Tonight. Oh my god, If I Die Tonight is just such a fucking good track. My favorite track on the whole album is If I Die Tonight. No, fuck that. It might not be. It probably is. Yeah, it probably is. If I Die Tonight is just fucking brilliant. Um, what else? A Me Against the World, the title track. I love that. Pop kills that. Uh, Outlaw. Death Around the Corner. Fuck the World. Dear Mama. Everybody knows Dear Mama. Uh, old School. His homage to East Coast hip hop. You know, Pac does not hate the East Coast at that time. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a very East Coast sounding album. Um, I love it, man. Even though Pac's from, well, Pac is from New York, but he resided and repped the West Coast for years. But that, you know, is an East Coast sounding album to the fullest. You know, Easy Mo Beats production is fucking amazing. You know, so many tears. Uh, Temptations. Um, this album is absolutely flawless. I like Can I Get Away or Can't Get Away Now. What the fuck? I gotta pull that track listing up. I don't have the CDs on me. Um, which is an amazing motherfucking uh, album. Let's see. Great track list. Great fucking album. Makes the world bring back so. Me against the world brings back a lot of memories, y'all. Tell you that much. Absolutely love this album. Um, yeah, like I said, the title track, Me Against the World. If I Die Tonight, my favorite track on here. Can You Get Away? That's what it's called. Can You Get Away? Can You Get Away? Lord Knows might be... Oh, no. I just almost forgot about that. Lord Knows. Yeah, I take that back. If I Die Tonight is my second favorite song on the album. Lord Knows is my favorite gotta be lord knows fucking love that shit pot kills that young niggas it's the kind of g that everybody know so fucking good <laughs> it ain't easy oh, i love that shit man yeah me against the world is a fucking masterpiece five mic classic five mic fucking classic and yeah that you have it, me against the world. Like my my thoughts on that fucking masterpiece. Then we get to the nineteen ninety six double album, the masterpiece. People say this album is overrated and it's fucking not that good. It's rushed. I I ne- see. I, I never heard shit like this until the internet. Seriously, I I never did. This album is fucking amazing. Okay. To have two discs of n- nothing whack, in my opinion, I like every single track on here, and I know the album that well. That I, yeah, I like every single track on here. You know, around 1995, Suge Knight went to you know the jail where Pac was, and asked him to join Death Row Records, and he bailed him out, and he bailed the nigga out, and he. Got out of death row. He went to the Waffle House, I believe. That's Dylan just said. I think that nigga dad said he went to um the Waffle House, chicken and waffles. And after that, went straight to the motherfucking studio and hammered some shit the fuck out. Niggas were giving him beats. And all eyes on me was getting work done then. You know, that's fucking nuts. Now, I appreciate that. Pac ain't a nigga that likes to waste no motherfucking time. That's fucking great. Disc one. Or book one, as he calls it. You know, uh... Ambitions as a Rider, produced by Daz. Love that. All About You, Scandalous. Got my mind made up with Method Man, Red Man, Corrupt. Daz, fantastic. How Do You Want It? Which is one of my favorite pop songs ever. I know it's a single and all that, but I, you know, niggas say, you know, it's a single, that's the easy way out, singing like a single. That's so fucking corny, but How Do You Want It is just fantastic. Yo, I love that shit. Casey and JoJo did, did that thing. Two of America's Most Wanted with Snoop. No more pain. That's t- <laughs> my adversaries cry like hoes. Ah, oh, that's banging. I love that shit. Hearts of men, fire. Life goes on. Only God can judge me. Trinity War stories. Shall I go on? You know, can't see me. Sure, they want to be a thug. Holler at me. Wonder why I call- they call you bitch when we ride. Thug passion. The whole fuck. To me, both discs are fucking flawless. 
I genuinely prefer disc one over disc two, but it's fucking great. You know what I mean? It is fantastic. Um, love it, man. Absolutely love it. Both discs are just fucking slamming. Um, got nothing bad to say about either one, you know. My favorite track on the whole fucking album, though. Fuck, it's tough. That's hard to say. Um, shit. I ain't mad at you. It's fucking amazing. Oh, one. Here I go. Before I get to my favorite song. One complaint about All Eyes on Me for me. Always been, um, you can get the UK version. You got to get the original UK version of All Eyes on Me to get this. But I have it on the greatest hit, so I'm not really stressing. But I wish All Eyes on Me, the album contained the original California Love. I don't know why the fuck it didn't. I think that was pretty fucking stupid, if you ask me. The remix is fucking slapping, but I would rather have the, you know, the famous original California Love to appear on the album. Like, I don't know why niggas do that. I would have loved that to happen. Uh, the California Love remix is okay, but I'd rather have the California Love original to be on here. That would have been slamming. But, um, favorite track, right? I probably be, it might be crazy to y'all niggas, but. No More Pain, man. I, I love that song so much. It's also between No More Pain and Ambitions as a Rider. You know, that's what it is. But amazing double album. Flawless, if you ask me. Um, now time to put these albums together, you know. Let's see. Lyricism. Lyrics. Park is amazing on both lyrically. Pac wasn't the, oh no, no, super lyrical nigga, but lyrically, I prefer him on Me Against the World. Just the uh, dark shit, I just love that shit, you know what I mean? Um, Production. A lot of me got that banging West Coast sound. But I prefer Me Against the World's production over All Eyes on Me. Nothing wrong with the live production. That shit is fucking slamming as well. But I gotta go with Me Against the World's production on for that. You know what I mean? Replay value. When I want to listen to Pac, I'll be honest. I listen to mad shit. You know, even straight, straight from my niggas and to Apocalypse. But my go-to Pac album, to be honest, man, it always been this way. It's all eyes on me. Because it's two discs. It's mad fucking tracks. You can just enjoy it. It's a long listen. Great listen. I would say that has more replay value to me than me against the world. Or not really saying that. Just what I choose to listen to. Like when I want to listen to Pac, boom. You know. Me against the world is a fucking classic album. Influential. Like the most influential. What I hear niggas talk about more. All eyes on me have to go to that. Because I hear what that talked about. Me against the world as well. But. All eyes on me is always talked about, you know what I mean? Like always praised and shit. But which I which do I think is a better album? And what knows me knows this answer. Me against the world, nineteen ninety five, my favorite Tupac album ever of all time. It is, it's that's the way it is. So Tupac, Battle of the LPs, Me Against the World versus All Eyes on Me. Me Against the World nineteen ninety five. All Eyes on Me nineteen ninety six. Be Against the World is the victor. That's what I think is a better album. I will see y'all on the flip side as always. Lay on niggas. Peace.